Have you ever pondered the incredible steps a country takes when staring down its greatest threat since World War II? Well, brace yourselves, because Japan is on the verge of an extraordinary challenge, and it's none other than China. In a bold move to neutralize this looming danger, Japan is gearing up to invest a never-seen-before $56 billion in its military in 2024 with an eye-watering commitment of $300 billion by 2027. But what does this massive investment mean? Get ready for a rush of super cool weapons, think new creations, and turbocharged upgrades to the existing arsenal, all set to shake up how we see military tech. We're not talking about your everyday weapons here. These are mind-blowing innovations that the world hasn't seen before and may not see again. So without further ado, let's unravel the mysteries behind these game-changing weapons. First up, submarines. Imagine Japan, with its formidable fleet of 22 submarines, is on a mission. They've been rocking the Harpoon missiles from the United States, but let's face it, the future battlefield demands more firepower, more range, and a dash of that high-tech flair. So Japan is out there, hunting for a missile upgrade, and they've got their eyes set on the Type 12, a subsonic anti-ship missile that's been the go-to boom maker for the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. Now, this isn't your regular upgrade. I'm talking about transforming the Type 12 from a respectable 124 miles to a jaw-dropping 560 to 600 miles, and later to a mind-blowing 930 miles. It's like turning a go-kart into a turbocharged beast that can zoom across the entire map. But why all this missile madness? Well, it's not only about hitting targets at sea, it's about taking down enemy ballistic missile bases on land as well. Sneaky, right? Here's the kicker, though. This upgraded Type 12 is like a ninja in the night. It reduces its radar footprint, making it nearly invisible to those high-tech defense systems. It's like playing hide-and-seek with the most advanced radar out there. Imagine that. While there's no official document spilling the beans that the Advanced Type 12 is the chosen one for Japan submarines, the timelines match up. The schedules of these enhancements align with the development of new missiles designed for submarines. So whether it's the upgraded Type 12 or an entirely new missile, Japan's submarine game is about to level up, with 22 submarines that are not only big, but also quick and silent. China's got its hands full with this aquatic challenge. Up next, the Izumo-class aircraft carriers. After World War II, Japan made a vow to steer clear of powerful offensive weapons like aircraft carriers, showing the world they were done with their aggressive past. However, fast forward over seven decades, and Japan is breaking its promise, but for a good reason. It's finally time for a comeback, and we've got the Izumo Dream Team, J.S. Izumo and J.S. Kaga, two floating powerhouses that are not your typical billion-dollar buddies. Originally designed as helicopter-carrying destroyers, some say they were Japan's sly way of having aircraft carriers without actually admitting it, avoiding a breach of century-old promises. But hey, desperate times call for desperate measures, right? Now let's talk glow up. The conversion party began in 2020, and by the end of it, J.S. Izumo and Kaga will be rocking heat-resistant decks, more power than ever, and a whole new quadrangle-shaped battle setup. It's like watching a superhero suit up for the first time, but in naval form. But here's the million-dollar question. How do you launch and land fixed-winged aircraft without a ski jump or a launch catapult? Japan's got a trick up its sleeve with short takeoff and vertical landing fighters, and leading the pack is the F-30B Lightning II, the superhero of the skies. Flashback to 2018, Japan drops the bombshell that they're snatching up 42 F-35Bs, sharing the love between Izumo and Kaga post-conversion. 
Add an extra 105 F-35s into the mix, and Japan is set to become the first country with the highest number of F-35s outside the manufacturing United States. Fast forward to 2021, where history takes a bow as two U.S. Marine Corps F-35Bs pull off the first vertical landings and horizontal takeoffs from J.S. Azumo, a scene straight out of an action blockbuster. Note that this isn't only about flexing military strengths, it's about rewriting the rules for naval warfare. When Izumo and Kaga hit the seas, Japan won't only be playing defense, they're gearing up to bring the fight straight to their rivals' doorsteps. Coming ahead, the next generation fighter. Now let's unpack Japan's hunt for the ultimate aerial dominator, shall we? Japan may already have $23 billion worth of F-35s in its arsenal, but that's not stopping them from aiming even higher. Enter the sixth generation air superior fighter, a lethal force designed to rule the skies of tomorrow. Originally flying solo in their quest, Japan soon joined forces with Britain and Italy, who were also cooking up joint sixth generation fighters of their own. With a whopping $490 million from Japan's 2024 budget and countless more in subsequent budgets, this fighter is gearing up to be Japan's most advanced bird yet. But what sets this fighter apart? Let's break it down. First, we've got the revolutionary number, three electric actuators. Forget traditional hydraulic systems, this fighter is all about electric power, making it lighter, more agile, and oh so efficient. What a power move! Now let's talk about stealth, the name of the game when you're aiming to be invisible to enemy radar. With internal weapon bays, serpentine air ducts, and carbon-based electromagnetic wave absorbers, this fighter is a master in disguise. And finally, armament, the cherry on top of this aerial masterpiece. From the kinetic weapons of today to the laser weapons of tomorrow, this fighter is armed to the teeth. But wait! How can we forget the third-party loyal wingmen, ready to take on side missions and search for targets like never before? And now, the Aegis system-equipped vessel. Prepare to be blown away by Japan's $8.78 .8 billion missile defense makeover, accounting for a whopping 15% of the 2024 budget. Meet the stars of the show two Aegis system-equipped vessels, set to redefine naval warfare as we know it. Now sure, the ship naming convention might raise a few eyebrows, but when it comes to capabilities, these bad boys are as sharp as they come. With a combined cost of $7.1 billion and weighing in at a hefty 20,000 tons each, these vessels are no ordinary ships. They're like floating fortresses, boasting dimensions that rival even the mightiest of cruisers on the seas. This is where it gets exciting, though. Close your eyes and imagine ergonomic spaces that are fit for a crew of 110, living it up as though they're on a luxury cruise, only to transform into one of the most lethal warships when duty calls. Talk about work hard and play hard. Once deployed, these vessels shall become the pride of the Japanese Navy, primarily defending against ballistic missile threats. And let's face it, with adversaries like China, nuclear ballistic missile attacks are always on the table. Here's where the Aegis system comes into play. This revolutionary American invention is legendary, skillfully tracking and neutralizing incoming missile strikes. From the US to NATO and now Japan, the Aegis system sets the gold standard in missile defense. Last but not least, missiles. Finally, let's explore the ultimate game changer, missiles. They are the powerhouse of modern warfare and Japan knows it. That's why their 2024 budget focuses on staying ahead in the missile game, recognizing that all other weapons discussed are simply tools to deliver these potent warheads. To match up against China's intimidating arsenal, Japan is gearing up for an early deployment of standoff missiles, allocating a whopping $5.15 billion for the cause. This includes investing in locally made Type 12 cruise missiles, obtaining American-made ones, and even developing a future generation of long-range missiles that'll send shivers down their enemy spines. 
The Type 12 missile isn't just limited to submarines, it's also being considered as an air-launched option for Japan's F-35 fighters. And then there's the Tomahawk cruise missile, a legendary missile with a reputation spanning over three decades. With precision strikes, long-range capabilities, and the versatility to be launched from submarines, surface ships, and aircraft, it's the Swiss Army knife of missiles, and Japan plans to acquire 400 of them for $1.5 billion. Hold on though, because there's more. Enter the hybrid American Japanese SM-3 missile, a top-tier interceptor designed to take down incoming ballistic threats. And let's not forget Japan's future arsenal of hypersonic missiles, including the hypersonic cruise missile and the hypervelocity gliding projectile, both set to enter service in the 2030s. Japan's strategic investments in advanced weaponry highlight its commitment to safeguarding national security in the face of evolving threats, particularly from China, and reclaiming its position as a global powerhouse. From submarines to aircraft carriers, from the Aegis system to cutting-edge missiles, Japan is fortifying its defense capabilities like never before and sending a clear message to China. But what do you think? Which aspect of Japan's military transformation intrigues you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on the latest developments in global security. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.